I'm Willem and this is a 1965 Ford Mustang Fastback and today I'm going to review it. I'm going to start off talking about the exterior of the car, have a look at the interior and then take it for a drive. If you have not done so yet, please subscribe to my channel, click the subscribe button below for some more cool videos like this and also go follow me on Instagram at Wistos and Auto. So this specific car I borrowed from Club 9 in Cape Town. They're situated on the corner of Strand and Breer Street and offer a wide selection of classic cars, sports cars, from old Ferraris to classic 911s to cars like this. They also offer car services like car detailing, car storage and they also have their own in-house restaurant called Dapper. So go there, grab a coffee and check out their wide selection of cars. So the Ford Mustang was introduced in 1964 and has become an absolute part of Americana history. This car was actually based on the later model of the Ford Falcon in the 1960s um, and they use the same underpinnings for this car. I still think today this is one of the coolest looking cars ever made. In 1968, the cult classic movie Bullet came out where Steve McQueen actually drove a Ford Mustang, a 1968 Ford Mustang, through the streets of Los Angeles in this bottle green color. That movie was such a such a cult classic, I think it's probably one of the most famous car movies of all time and that only helped Mustang to boost sales in this specific model car. So the reason why I think this car was such an absolute icon was the way it looked of course and you can see this by looking at the lines of the car on the side here and these actual shark vents on the side which just make this look super cool. I think in the 1960s the fashion industry was actually booming at that point in time and how you look meant everything. So if you're driving around in one of these you're probably seen as a very very cool guy or girl. This car actually has a Shelby GT500 paintwork on it, which still looks very cool in this car. Unfortunately, it's not the original paintwork and it's not obviously the Shelby GT500 engine, but it still really works on this car and I think it looks very, very cool. Then looking also on the sides of the car, you'll see this chrome everywhere on the car. The detail is so, so beautiful. It's like these little chrome pieces. You'll see it at the side windows, you'll see it on the handles and all along the roof lines and the window lines, it's everywhere. And it just makes this car look absolutely epic. You'll also see it on the front and the back bumpers. So when looking at the wheels of this car, you'll notice these wheels are not stock standard. These wheels are actually Shelby wheels that were fitted aftermarket. And I think it really, really suits this, uh, this car. Also, when looking at the brake calipers, you'll see they're blue and that blue actually matches the stripes on the paint job, which looks really, really cool. What you'll also notice when looking at the side of this car, it's got this little Mustang logo here with the Mustang running there. And it says Mustang 2 plus 2, just to show you it's a fastback version and it's actually a four-seater car. So when looking at the front of the car, besides all the chrome, you'll notice this big, big horse or this Mustang logo in the middle, which is absolutely iconic to Ford. They still use that logo today. And you'll notice the big four-letter word Ford at the top, which looks very, very iconic and well in that classic Ford uh, font. You'll also notice these big blue stripes that start here at the bottom and go all the way to the back of this car. And I think it just suits this car really, really well and is a classic Ford blue color. So then at the top here, you'll notice this big sloping hood or bonnet um, with this big air intake at the top, which sucks in air obviously to that beautiful V8 engine we're gonna take a look at now. And it obviously needs all the air it can get. So when opening up this engine bay, this reveals this beautiful five liter Windsor Mustang engine. This 302 engine looks absolutely amazing. It's just one of the most beautiful engines I've ever seen. And if you've ever seen a 60s muscle car engine, this will probably be one of the best looking ones. You also see these small little details in this car, the small engraved flame here at the bottom and this piping and everything. And what's pretty cool is you can actually see the ground when looking through this car. I mean, it's just the engine with the air underneath. You literally can see the ground from up here and I can see the grass and actually almost touch it if I stick my hand through it. So Club Nine has actually provided me with a list with some upgrades of this car and I'm gonna read them out to you because I'm actually scared that I'm gonna forget some of them. This includes upgraded vented slot brake, brake discs and braided lines, aftermarket gauges, a Mallory electronic distributor that's installed, an upgraded mastered cylinder and brake booster and steering column, and an aluminium radiator with electric fan and pulley. It's quite a mouthful. While we have this engine opened, let's take a listen to that exhaust note. So looking at the rear of the 1965 Mustang Fastback, it's probably one of the most iconic rears of any cars ever. It just looks super, super cool. These tail lamps looks really, really cool. It's like these three small ones on each side and it almost spikes up. It looks like little horns or almost like a demonic look to it, which looks super cool and gives it that proper muscle car feeling. Then looking at the tailpipes of this car, they are really, really big and proper. There's one on each side. I can probably almost fit my whole fist in either one of them, which I think is a pretty cool thing. So before I do the interior of the car, I'm actually going to attempt to get into the back seat of the car, seeing that it is a two plus two after all. So let's try. So 
So sitting in the interior of the 1965 Mustang Fastback, this car feels so, so iconic inside. Um, it's got quite a lot of leather in it. This car has actually got black leather in it, but I think the original color was red, which look, would look pretty cool as well. But this black fits really, really nice, especially with the white cream interior, exterior. And everything looks really, really nice. As I mentioned before, this car's got aftermarket gauges on. It's got these aluminum covered gauges with white, which matches the black interior really, really nicely with these bright red um, needles, which look super, super cool, especially if you start the car up and you rev it a little bit. And I just really, really like the overall interior of the car. It's quite minimalistic, but it feels classic 60s. This car is a really, really nice, beautiful steering wheel. It's made out of this beautiful, beautiful wood and it feels so nice in your hands. It feels almost like a boat steering wheel. Um, and it's also got this nice chrome on the sides here. I believe the steering wheel is aftermarket, but all better to it. I mean, it just really, really feels nice. And there's little grooves in your hand as well where you can grip it. And you need to grip this car with that five liter V8 it's got under the bonnet. So talking about these seats, these seats are actually quite nice. It's not a car that's supposed to snug you for going around corners and driving crazy and stuff. This is a car to drive, to look cool, to cruise along with. And these seats you can cruise pretty much easy with. Um, and it's a classic 60s style, obviously no headrest, but I don't think that matters to anyone driving this car. Then also the practicality of this car. This car is actually quite practical. Um, there are two cup holders in this car. There's actually a nice cubby hole here. Obviously, like I mentioned, the two seats at the back. There's also this area that looks like a cubby hole. It's actually not a cubby hole in this car. It's actually an aftermarket stereo system. So when you open it up, it reveals the stereo system, which is apparently extremely loud. I'm not entirely sure if you need a stereo system with this beautiful Viet engine, but this car has it nonetheless. So that includes my interior and exterior review of the car. Let's take it for a drive. Driving the 1965 Mustang Fastback. I'm going to be honest and firstly in saying that it's quite an intimidating car to drive and there's a few reasons for it. Reason number one, it's a muscle car from the 60s. That's already something that is very, very intimidating. Reason number two, for me at least, it's left-hand drive. So I need to be very, very careful to see actually what's going on on the other side of the car because I'm not used to driving a left-hand car, of course, being South African. And number three, this car is wide and it's very, very wide and it's got a lot of power. So if you put your foot down just a little bit, woo, this car just wants to take off. And I mean, Club Nine has actually told me, if you put your foot down a little bit, just be weary because this car's rear can actually move around and slide quite, quite easily. So it's something I need to be aware of all the time when driving this car. But everything that makes me nervous about this car is made up by this beautiful, beautiful noise this car makes um, from that V8 engine. It's just such an amazing sound. Oh, that's really, really good. And it just pushes you on. It's just so, so, so cool and such an awesome feeling. So the one thing about this car is its brakes are a little bit hard, but once you get used to them, it's actually fine. Um, and it works quite well. The upgrades of this car, you can actually feel it. This car is an older car and it drives quite heavily but it actually is manageable and it's not something that you couldn't drive every day but obviously you're not going to use something like this as your daily driver so i found a little piece of open road and if i put my foot down wow that is such a beautiful sound that's amazing and you feel proper properly cool driving this car so just some specs on this car. This car puts out around between 250 and 300 horsepower, I reckon. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the upgrades this car has. And also this car makes around 400 newton meters of torque, which is quite a lot for the standard, especially for a 60s muscle car. Driving around in Cape Town for a while now, the amount of love you get from the people is absolutely crazy. Like everyone winks at you, smiles at you, blows kisses. This car is definitely not a car like a Ferrari where you drive and some people might think, oh, who's that asshole in the Ferrari? This is something completely different. This is a type of car that your standard basic guy loves and everyone just wants to see it and wants to look at it and wants to take pictures of it. One thing I do notice when driving this car for a while are these tiny side mirrors it has, which is actually fine. You get used to them after a while and they look amazing, but to actually use them is quite difficult. Whew. That engine note is so, so beautiful. So in conclusion, I've been driving this for a little bit in Cape Town now and I am starting to fall completely in love with this car. I mean, besides the amazing, amazing way this car looks, just driving it around and getting a feel for it and all the love you're getting from the people is just worthwhile on its own. I mean, driving in a Ferrari or a modern Porsche or whatever, it's amazing, beautiful cars. But the feeling you get when driving this car is just really, really special and you can feel that it's a classic 60s icon. 
this car feels like a piece of art that you're driving around i mean it just fits in so well in this city and also besides being a piece of art it makes you feel like a real badass as well that's why i'm gonna put my shades on and put my foot down The new GT500. Oh, I tell you, what model is this? Uh, it's a 65, but it's not really a GT500. It's just a normal fastback. Ah, it's beautiful. Beautiful, eh? I used to ride one many years ago. Really? Yeah. It's not my own, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs>